drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hello and welcome to edupedia world hello welcome to sap ufi training session today we're going to see few more examples on sap ui5 as we know how to create sap ui5 project we go to eclipse right click and say new project and we have to type sap here and we have sap application project so what i'm going to do is I have to create a new app sap ui5 app and i'll say finish and here we get the project and i'm going to view include one more library over here sap ui dot commons comma sap dot ui because I'm using for the desktop application so I'm including sap ui dot commons for desktop applications we need to do this so I'm saving this index.html file and right click on this and you have to say run as and run on server finish so it will ask to restart the project we can restart the server so that our project will be seen in the servers so when we right click here we get project because we haven't written anything here there's a reason nothing is appearing I will close this and we'll go to servers and check our project is added yes SAP UI 5 app and it is synchronized so whatever changes we made it is synced with this application it's always important it should be synchronized if it will ask for restart or publish you have to perform those actions by right clicking the server go to publish if it asks and there's a shortcut also Control alt p and if you want to restart if it is asked then you have to restart it it's all appears over here if it has to restart or publish now it says synced it means synchronized so no need to do anything you can directly use the application so here we go and here we go. Yeah. So here we go. So now we're going to do a few more applications. So initially we have seen this application where we had a panel text field button and we placed it in a matrix layout now we'll see how vertical layout will work so first of all we have to see what is vertical layout control do so we have the demo kit in this we can go to controls and uh, here we have layouts and we can choose the vertical layout here and once we choose the vertical layout you'll get all the information the vertical layout can bring up multiple controls to one column and it will place in a vertically it will be placed it, it will place the controls so the function is sapui.commons.layout the api which we'll be using is vertical layout so it means sap ui dot commons dot layout dot vertical layout and the properties available for this is custom data content enabled id layout data tooltip visible and width so what does it do the information is available here and i'll tell you in simple words content means the content you can place it inside that vertical layer. suppose if you want to have a button so button text box 
one more button and one other text box. These four things you want to place it in a vertical way. So that is nothing but the content. Content is two text boxes and two text pages are content. So we can add that content over here. Content is nothing but aggregation. And the custom data is if you want to add any custom data to it, you can add it. And dependent is. So if there are any dependent things, we can have it. And if you want to enable, enable in a sense, if you want to enable it means control. If you want to enable, you can enable it. If you want to disable it, you can take enable false, it means disable. So ID you can give. ID is always the reference of that control and layout data. So if you want to add any constraints inside the control, such as uh, any hidden information that can be gone to the layout data. And tooltip, whenever you go and uh, put your cursor on that particular control and if you want to show any information then that tooltip information will go under this tooltip property and visible is you can visible that or else you can disable it visible and enable differences whenever we uh, do visibility Visibility means just it will create the space and it will hide it, that particular control, when we talk about visible. And when we talk enable, means it will not take any space at all. It will not take any space at all. So automatically it will be disabled. So width is the size the horizontal size of that particular control and methods is get parent if you have any see suppose if you have taken a matrix layout in that matrix layout you are placing your vertical layout then your vertical layouts parent will be matrix layout so that is what it means whenever we talk about method get parent it returns the parent control. So we'll see a basic example. Yeah, there are so many examples which we have. So here, what he has taken is he has taken a slider and some text area and rating and a checkbox. So he's placing vertically. So how he's trying to do is you can view the way source. And you'll get the information over here. Yeah, you can place this everything inside your yeah, script. Here you can. So now what we have to do is we have to creating a simple vertical layout with fixed width. So width is 200 px. That's what I mentioned. And whenever you say vertical layout, I already mentioned sapui.ui.layout.vertical layout. So whenever you're using SAP UI layout, so we have to check whether we have included the library. No, we haven't included the library. So we have to copy this. Then you can place it here. So it will be included. Layout 2, I have taken a variable and inside that SAP UI layout dot vertical layout and this is the ID I have given and this is inside the properties. See content. So content is slider, text area, rating indicator and a check box. So in this slider, we have a inside properties like 25 and then a tooltip is already placed a slider tooltip and width is fixed width 300px 
and the next control what we have taken is new SAP UI commons text area so inside this text area I have taken a value value is nothing but the text area value what it is displayed and inside this I have given the content so long content so I'll tell you this is a large text so we are breaking it into three four lines so slash and indicates breaking the line so it should be cut slash n1 slash n means next line next line next line next line so on i have done it till nine lines so next is width and next is height so width is horizontally and height is vertically and next is rating indicator this rating indicator will have a property called value so it's always 5 by default you can increase the rating indicator to 10 12 or 20 it's up to you so by default it takes 5 and value I have given and inside that I have given a 4 numeric 4 next control I have taken is new SAP UI commons dot checkbox inside this I have taken a text as a property inside this text property I have placed a text so everything this layout I'm placing so this is nothing but content the content is placed inside the layout now the layout will be placed at sample to ID but the ID which we have is content so we have to place it here so this is how we're gonna do a vertical layout usage of vertical layout so it says synchronized see whenever I make changes space and whenever I say 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 it is synchronized see republish and it is synchronized so this is how it works so once it is synchronized you can check your SAP UIFI app just refresh it your vertical layout content should be displayed see this is how the text box see four value four has been given see this text longer as a width of so and so and I have slashed 10 because I have given 150 px as width or 200 px as width that's the reason this is the information okay and see nine lines reading indicator and this so we'll increase the width and check Three hundred we have given. I'll give uh, a nine hundred, but it will not come. I've given nine hundred here. It will not come. Why? I'll tell you. See, SAP UI five app. I'm refreshing it. I'm saying nine hundred, but it is not coming. Why? Why it is not coming? Why it is not coming is here we have fixed length so we have to increase this length to 900 then the maximum size of the width is 900 now this will appear see the 900 width is it coming yes this is how it is so how it works is the parent has a fixed length so this flexed is this width is fixed and the parent will have a high chances what does it means is whenever you give a parent if parent has some properties you can use suppose I'll tell you one example 
your parents have certain assets so you can use only those assets as a child if you have any extra also you are under that parent control so you can make use of those only you can't go out of the box if you have also you can you will be able to access only 900 width you can't access more than that doesn't matter how much width you give so 900 that's the reason it has taken so this is all about vertical layout so the code whatever we have written if you want to see from the browser right click view page source you will see whatever you have written see view source localhost 8080 is the tomcat port and your project name followed by your project name so this is how the information comes you have pnf document type html head meta information script and inside the script you have created a vertical layout and inside the vertical layout you have taken a, a content for particular controls different different controls you are placing it vertically and inside this vertical layout you can take a horizontal layout so on it depends on your requirement you can do it so this all we have placed in a one element called content div so we have a div called content we are using the id and we are placing it this is about vertical layout example